Hi, this is Dr. Homer Lim and you're listening to your Holistic Health Podcast. Good afternoon guys. Welcome to our weekly talk here at Kesis Holistic Health. So today we're gonna be talking about detox. Okay, so what I mean, what do we mean by detox? No, so or detoxification. So when we talk or discuss about detoxification, what we're referring to is uh you know removing removing toxicity in the body or removing of toxins in the body. So this is what we mean by detoxification. Okay, so as you well know already or you know you're familiar is everyone is actually exposed to toxins. No? The moment you are actually born or even prior to being born, you know, where you're still in your uh, mother's womb, no? you're already exposed to the toxins that your uh, mother is exposed to. So they have do found out example would be uh, women who have yung amalgam, no? yung heavy metal or what you call mercury amalgam, yung pasta or dental filling that is color uh, black or silver so they notice when uh, children uh, or babies who were born out of moms who had uh, who ha- still have the amalgams when they were born actually had heavy metals in their in their blood no so this is a form of toxicity so even before you are born you're actually exposed to a lot of toxins already no so as we grow older of course we're exposed to a smoke pollution so the smokes have different kinds of uh, toxicity or toxins no so the food you know packaged food you're exposed to plastics no you can also be exposed to petrochemicals no so plastics is a form of petrochemicals so other petrochemicals are from your uh, what we call yung uh, insecticides right yung mga pesticides so these are also what we call toxins. No? They are what we call petrochemicals. No? So there are other forms of heavy metals as we discussed uh, a while ago, yung heavy metals. So that's another form of toxins. No? So there are also toxins that your body produces like carbon dioxide that can be a toxin if you cannot be, if you're not able to uh, exhale it. No? So that's, that's a form of toxin also. So Oxygen, actually, no oxygen can be a form of toxin if you're inhaling too much oxygen or your body's taking up too much oxygen. It can also cause uh, problems, no? So uh, you have so you have their chemical toxins. You can have toxins that your body produces. You can also have uh, toxins from from the environment, no? The air you breathe, the water you're drinking, the food you're eating. So so you're exposed to these toxins and most of the time no a lot of people are not aware no when you're fat you know yung your fat your your yung bill bill or your uh love handle sabi nila no so these actually store are there this where your your body stores some of the what we call petrochemicals so yung mga pesticides insecticides plastics yung mga water containers that are you know from made from very uh, thin or um, very thin plastics, no? So these are petrochemicals. So they actually are stored in your fats, no? As compared to heavy metals like your mercury, lead, arsenic, no? These are stored in your organ tissue and the bones naman, no? So, so one of the things that we do advocate, especially for our patients here who are, uh, who, you know, who come to come for treatment, no? You, we usually ask them to do some form of detoxification. So there are many kinds and many forms of detoxifying. No? One of the easiest way to detoxify is, of course, you know, you do fasting. So either you do water, but I won't, don't suggest water. You can do juice fasting. No? Three to four days juice fasting. That's a form already of doing detoxification. If you do sauna, okay, sweating, you do exercise, you do sauna, you sweat, no, that's a form of detoxification. So they found out in the sweat, no, you also can excrete not only heavy metals, but also actually yung mga petrochemicals, no, kasi because yung mga petrochemical toxins like your uh, plastics, pesticides, insecticides, no, they can be excreted through your skin, through your 
sweat. So it's very, very important for you to really do exercise because that's already a form of detoxification. It's easy to do. It's free. Okay? So you can also detoxify by doing some uh, what we call colon enemas. Okay? You can also do colonics or you can take a soft, soft stool softener like a lot of people use bentonite clay, charcoal, Easiest would still be, you know, take aloe vera, okra, no, saluyo. These are, they make your poop uh, more soft, easier to come out. So these are forms of uh, uh, detoxifying the colon, no? So the kidney, very easy, just drink lots of water. You can take buko juice if you don't have diabetes. Uh, if you have diabetes, you can take your sambong, your banaba. So anything that make you uh, diaries, no, or make you pee a lot, that's a form also already of detoxification. So, uh, another way of detoxifying the colon, no? so medyo mas mahirap, so, but you can do enemas, colonic enemas. You can also take some herbs to detoxify your liver, like your um, milk thistle, your uh, broccoli, your cauliflower. So, these are what we call the brassica family, the cauliflower, broccoli, uh, cabbage. So, if you take these, these are also high in phytochemicals, no? That helps in detoxifying your uh, liver. So you have your liver, your kidneys, your colon, your skin. Okay, so what else have we not detoxified? The lungs. The lungs is very important. Of course, the easiest way to detoxify the, the lungs is really you have to breathe natural, natural, pollution-free air, which is, I guess, mas mahirap, no? But there are other ways to, to detoxify the liver from uh, mucus, no? So you avoid... Uh, drinking too much milk or dairy kasi they produce a lot of mucus, no? So, there are many uh, herbs, no? Or supplements like acetylcysteine and acetylcysteine is a very good uh, mucolytic. It helps clear the phlegm, no? So, as you clear it phlegm, it's also clearing the toxins that accumulates in your uh, lung tissue, okay? Um, so, guys, if you have questions, please ask them while I'm still here. Uh, so so these are the organs of detoxification. So your lungs, your skin, your colon, your liver, your kidneys. That's your five major organs of detoxification. So we need to uh, periodically uh, clean them. Diba? If you if you know if people like the men, right, they always want their cars washed. Diba? They do their parang um, wash over or uh, yung engine, they have it uh, clean, diba? Every so often. So, why not your body, right? So, same as in your, ano, your toilet, diba? You have to wash and clean the drainage uh, periodically para hindi magbara. So, if you do that at home and in your car or in your, you know, your appliances, diba? We always clean. Why not our body? So, we always forget ourselves that we also need to uh, periodically clean our bodies, no? Now I will read some questions from our listeners and answer them in this segment. So how often do we do detox? The, I mean, the easiest answer would be always, right? But uh, at least if you can do detox, if you're sick, you're always sick, you have to do it at least every uh, three to six months. If you're not, once a year, that, that would be okay. Okay? Hmm, hi, Gina. <laughs> okay, so there's also one way I love to do detox is going to the sea. You know, I love to go to the sea because that's a very good way of detoxifying not only your lungs but also your your skin, no? And also hot, you know, hot springs. Those hot springs are very good ways of uh, uh, increasing your body temperature uh, releasing toxins through the skin, no? So, if let's say you cannot do uh, exercise, you don't have an infrared sauna, so I would suggest you just buy those, um, you know, the ones that you buy for um, boiling water, the one that you put in a, uh, natin planggana or balde, and then yung sinasaksak, and then the water would start boiling. So, you can use that, put a big towel or, yung, or a raincoat, uh, you cover your body, you know, exposing just the head 
So, you know, you heat the body. That's a form of, uh, you know, steam sauna. So it helps in uh, clearing also your 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 lymphatics or your skin. Huh? Sweat detox. So very good question. So when we do sweating, when we do sauna, so do we take a bath before or after? It should be after. It should be a warm, warm bath after the sauna because you want to clear away the uh, toxins. If you, let's say you do sauna, okay, and then you let your your sweat dry up again, you're gonna absorb the toxins. So it has to be uh, you sweat it out, okay. You do uh, what we call dry skin brushing while you're doing your uh, steam sauna to increase the flow of toxins out of your skin, and then you take a warm shower to flush away those toxins from your uh, skin, okay. So that's how you detox the skin. You do your sauna before you take your warm shower. Okay. Uh, did I speak about fasting? Yes, uh, we do. We do a suggest. Uh, hi, Andrew. So we do uh, suggest for detoxification, uh, not intermittent fasting. I would suggest more of a juice fasting. At least if you can do three days, four days of juice fasting, that would be the ideal way of doing a, a, a detoxification, which is a juice fasting, okay? <laughs> okay, so but intermittent fasting, that's one way of, of uh, increasing your, uh, I would say, your stem cells. So intermittent fasting is more of increasing your number of stem cells, not really uh, to detoxify, okay? How many hours of fasting for intermittent there's a number of ways you can do 12 hours up to 24 hours some do 48 hours so that's already like really fasting no so it's really up to how much you can tolerate okay so you have to do it slowly okay do you can you do juice fasting for diabetic yes but you really need to do some very frequent sugar monitoring because for diabetics their sugars and suddenly shoot up or uh, come down so for for diabetics uh, we have to do it carefully we cannot just do uh, juice fasting immediately and also the juice that you're going to be using we have to make sure it's not too high in uh, sugar okay so somebody's asking can we detoxify to remove gallstones uh, the answer there is it depends so if your gallstone is bigger than you around two centimeters so most likely you won't be able to do the what we call gallstone flush, no? So gallstone flush is actually another form of uh, detoxifying your liver and gallbladder. But of course, it's a bit difficult to do, uh, especially if you're not used to drinking one cup of uh, olive oil, okay? But again, not everyone is, uh, if you really want to do a gallstone flush, you have to first make sure that, you know, you don't have stones bigger than two centimeters because it might get stuck and you might end up in the hospital. So, but if there are stones that are very small, then you can do a, what you call a gallstone flush. Huh? Thank you for listening to your Holistic Health Podcast. This is Dr. Homer Lim. Now, if you do have questions about your health or you would like to request topics for our next podcast, Please do message us at our FB page or Instagram at Akesis Holistic Health or you may visit our website at www.akesisholistic.com Thank you again and please do come back for our next episodes.